Hi, so I'm gonna share some tips with you for going live on Facebook. Hi, my name is Chrissy Blevio. I'm a busy mom and an entrepreneur. And no, I am not like a social media expert. I'm trying to be. Anyway, I've been learning as much as I can about um, creating live Facebook videos. And I'm on tonight to share what I've learned. I wanna share it with my team that's out there watching. And I also wanna share it with anyone who's been thinking about doing Facebook live videos um, maybe for your business or maybe you just have a hobby or something really cool that you want to share with your friends on Facebook. You should get on and do live videos. Share what you know. Share what you do. Anyway, so I'm going to go right into my tips. Tip number one, your message must have value. Think of the three E's. You need to either entertain, educate or enlighten if you can do two that's great that would be really great if you can do all three that's really cool okay so educate enlighten entertain number two good lighting okay you need good lighting for an attractive video now if you don't have any lighting equipment that's fine daylight is perfect so start doing your videos during the day or if you have like a big window in your house, do it in front of the big window. Get all that natural light in. If you do want to maybe get a little something for lighting, I suggest a Lumi. I think it's L-U-M-E-E. -E. You can pick one up at Best Buy for 50 bucks. And then I would get like a, a selfie stick. You can pick one up for 10 or 20. And thank you for those. Hi, Ann and Karina. I can't see it. Everybody else is on there. Jen. Um, or you can get a little tripod. Uh, those might be a little more pricier than the selfie sticks. But anyway, you can start off cheap. Number three, I'm gonna try, <laughs> you need to look good. I mean, I'm not saying you have to be like, you know, the next Elizabeth Taylor. But, you know, this uh, rolled out of bed looking like this, no. Okay, you need to put on your makeup, you need to do your hair, be look, look nice and neat. You know, look your best when you get on this video. And I have one of my many online mentors, Nadia Melton says, and she's Russian, and she will say, you cannot sell the dream if you look like a nightmare, right? Now, if you listen to her, if you watch her, you'll get my impersonation. <laughs> anyway, and she's right. If you, especially if you're on here for business, don't get on here looking like hell. You're not gonna sell anybody. Nobody's gonna wanna watch. So make sure you look your best. Number four, when you press go live, you're gonna get a countdown, three, two, one. Make sure you're looking in the camera, not at yourself, look at the camera up at the top and have a smile on your face. Don't be like, you know, scratching your head or talking to your kids or, you know, make sure you're already engaged, smiling, waiting for your audience. When you go live, you wanna state your topic. Today I'll be talking about da 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 da. Hi, I'm so-and-so, and maybe you want to say you're a mom or, you know, maybe something, you know, interesting about you. It tells you a little, tells your audience a little bit about who you are. And then you want to go right into your message. Now, this is one I really struggle with. Your video should really be one to three minutes. I have gone like nine minutes. I get nervous and I get, I can't stop talking. I'm working on it. What can I tell you? Number five, you need a CTA, a call to action. Why are you making a video? What do you want your audience to do? Are you uh, looking for some information from your audience? Do you wanna ask them a question? Have them comment below. By the way, I have a question. Who is digging my retro feather earrings? I'm sorry. I have loved these since, I'm not even gonna tell you how old I was when they got popular, but I think we need a comeback for these feather earrings. I've had these for years. Anyway, so if you like my earrings, you know, make a comment, drop a bird in the comment section. I don't think there's a feather. Anyway, you need a call to action. Ask them to like your video, like your page, um, you know, ask them a question, ask them to tag a friend, but have something specific you ask your audience to do. Number six, end the video. Make sure you download the video to your camera, especially if, I mean, your phone. Download the video to your phone, especially if you're in business, because you that, that's media that you're producing. You want to save that and later on, you know, like get a Dropbox and, and stick it in your Dropbox, but you don't want to lose a video you create. And it's kind of cool to go back and watch and see how you get better. Speaking of getting better, number seven, as my mentor says, when you first start, it's going to be Sucksville, okay? And you have to get used to living in Sucksville for a while because nobody starts off right away and does great videos unless they're already an actor. 
the thing is to just keep doing it. Force yourself to get on there every day and do it and you will get better. You will get more comfortable. Um, if you run out of topics, personal development, every day listen to personal development. You're going to hear something great. Just get on there and share it, okay? The biggest tip I can say is to be yourself. Now, there's a lot of people on social media selling or teaching or whatever they're doing. So you think, well, what do I have to bring to the party, right? Yourself, because nobody is going to talk like you. No one's going to have your sense of humor. Nobody's going to teach like you. And there are going to be people out there that like that get you and like you. Maybe not so much that other guy or that other girl. So get on there. Don't pretend to be somebody else. Be yourself, warts and all. Um, and that is the best thing you can do. Be yourself. Don't be phony. Now, if this really freaks you out about going live, the only thing I can say is start doing recorded videos on your phone and then upload them. They will not get the exposure that a live video gets, but at least you're doing something. So anyway, I hope my team is listening. we got a go team. Go on these Facebook live videos. And um, I hope that was valuable information for anyone else who was thinking of going live. I know I went way long and I'm sorry, but if you like that information, if you found it valuable, please like my um, post. Please comment, give me maybe a thumbs up in the comment section. If you know somebody who would like this information, tag them. And as always, I would greatly appreciate it if you share my video. Hope you're all having a fantastic night tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.